The unit for mass is, is the kilogram. Um, it's important because uh, mechanical quantities such as mass itself, but also force and pressure, are all related back to the kilogram. It's currently defined as uh, an artefact, which is a, a cylinder of metal, which is held at the International Standards Laboratory in, in, in Paris. All the developed nations have copies of this artefact, which they send back to Paris for calibration periodically. The problem with the artefact is it's inherently unstable. We know that all the copies are changing slightly relative to each other, so it, it makes sense that the kilogram is, is changing as well, even though by definition it should be stable. There are two approaches to, to redefine it. One is, is the International Avogadro Coordination, which gathers a certain number of atoms together. It produces a, a large sphere of silicon. It counts the number of atoms of silicon it's got, and that tells it what the ma mass is, um, traceable to, to, to dimensional quantities. The other is a thing called the, the kibble balance, which balances mechanical and electrical power. So you balance the weight of a kilogram against the force you're generating by a, a coil in the magnetic field. This is MPL's kibble balance, which, um, as I say, balances electrical and mechanical power. So we have what we use as a mass standard here, which is a spherical a sphere which sits nicely in the balance. It locates perfectly. And essentially, we're balancing the weight of that in the Earth's gravitational field with a force we're generating in this magnet by a coil of, of known length. Um, and by balancing those, we can relate the, the force in the coil with the mass here. And the force in the coil is traceable to quantum electrical units, which are much more accurate the, than the, the, the kilogram is at present. And this is our ultimate aim for um, a way of realizing the SI units of mass after the redefinition. It's important because, as I say, we, we know that the kilogram is unstable at the moment, and this scientifically is not a, 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 an acceptable state of affairs. So by redefining it in terms of a fundamental constant, which will happen with these two experiments, we have something that is stable for forevermore rather than something that we intrinsically know must be varying.